What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And I've got a really exciting one for you guys today, just for you. I am going to be revealing my personal ASO strategy that I use to generate around 30 to 40,000 downloads per month on the App Store. So what is ASO? ASO stands for App Store Optimization. And this is basically how well your app ranks on the App Store for certain keywords that people are searching. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I just want to put out a disclaimer that if anyone tells you that they know the exact science of ASO and that they can guarantee results, they're talking absolute baloney. Um, the only people that really know for sure are the people that work at Apple. Of course, their algorithm is their own intellectual property. And as such, no one really knows the exact science of how to rank apps really well on the App Store. All we can do is follow best practices and I'm just gonna talk about my own personal experience and that's all I can basically do. So in order for us to kind of understand and know what Apple want in order for them to push our apps up the rankings in the App Store, we kind of have to look at things from their perspective, okay? At the end of the day, the App Store is a business and what is the thing that matters most to businesses? Okay, it's the conversion rate. So from my personal experience um, with having uploaded many apps onto the App Store, I have found that the higher the conversion rate is of that particular app or game, the more Apple pushes it through the rankings and the, the more organic traffic that it gets. Okay, this is simply because you, if people are if people are looking at your app on the on the App Store page and they're downloading it and the conversion's pretty good, why wouldn't Apple want to push that in front of more people? Okay? If your conversion rate is really low and people come to your App Store page and they click away immediately and they don't download your app, why would Apple promote that? Okay, so the important thing is to get that conversion rate as high as possible. And this um, comes in many steps. The first one is choosing the right keywords for your app and also the App Store marketing material. So once they are on your App Store page, you want to entice them to actually download the app and thus increasing your overall conversion rate. So there's only two tools that I use pretty much religiously and they are actually both free. I mean, they are paid versions, but I pretty much only use the free versions of them. The first one is Sensor Tower and the other one is App Annie. Okay, so let's just dive into my computer and I'll show you the exact process that I use to look for keywords. Okay, so the first thing is we want to go into Sensor Tower. Okay, so once you're in Sensor Tower, you want to go to the App Store Optimization and Keyword Rankings tab. Over here, you will find a place to put in your, your keyword. So let's say I have a bubble shooter game that I, I want to research keywords for. What I what I'll do first is go to add a keyword, type in bubble shooter. Okay, now it's gonna bring up a whole lot of results for bubble shooter. It'll bring up the top eight um, apps ranked for that particular keyword, okay? And what I want to do is I want to look for the, the ones that aren't really running any um, paid user acquisition, okay? So if we click onto this one here, now Sensor Tower, they normally show you in this section here if um, this uh, if this company is running uh, user acquisition, okay? And as you can see here, they aren't running anything because here they would actually show the ad. Um, for example, if we go back to the first one, we can check if they're running 
any paid user camp campaigns. And here you can see here, advertising on Iron Source and five more networks. Okay, so we don't wanna focus on those ones. The reason is because they're relying on paid user, user acquisition to get um, downloads. We want to look at the games or the apps that aren't running any paid uh, acquisition and that are, are just uh, relying on organic traffic through ASO. So as you can see, this one's getting 20,000 downloads a month and it's not running any ads, okay? So what I'll, the next step I do is I go to App Annie and I will try and find that same game on App Annie. Okay, I think it's this one. And then I will go down to to the ASO keywords. And the great thing about App Annie, wait, that's the wrong one. So ASO keywords. And the great thing about App Annie is that they actually show you the top keywords that this particular app is ranked for. And here is where you can actually find a gold mine of great keywords uh, to add to your, to your app. Okay, so Bubble Shooter, it'll be pretty hard to rank for that one um, just because it's such a common term. Um, I, I'd like to find some things in between, something with like medium traffic and medium difficulty. Okay, so if we go down here to, let's say, for example, let's take... Okay, bubble shooter spelt wrong with only one B. Okay, so we'll go to sensor tower and we will add a new keyword. Okay. Save. And now on sensor tower, it's gonna to show you the traffic for that particular keyword here, which is a 2.5. Okay, it's not great, but it's not that bad either. Okay, it'll show you the, the difficulty. To be honest, I don't really pay much attention to the iPhone difficulty. Um, what I do focus mainly on is how many apps are competing for that particular keyword. Okay, right now there are 4,769, which, okay, it sounds like a lot, but I mean, they sometimes you get tens of thousands. So 4,000 isn't too crazy. And um, okay, so, this is, uh, I probably wouldn't go for this particular keyword. I'd try to find something a little bit more high traffic. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's try popping bubbles. Okay, so we type in the add keyword, popping bubbles, and see what that brings up. Okay, so this one's still traffic of 2.3. iPhone difficulty a little bit less, 7.7. .7. But here's the big difference, is this particular keyword only has 545 other apps competing. And if we go to the top of the search results, if we click on this one, that's ranked number one for this particular keyword. Let's see, okay, also you can see they're not running any paid user acquisition, 5,000 downloads a month, and look here, they've ranked really well with only around 60, um, 60 ratings, and, the, and overall four stars. So it would be pretty easy to outrank them just with better, better ratings and overall better rating score, okay? So that's pretty much what I do to find various keywords, which I can then experiment with in my app title, as well as the keyword field that is provided when you upload an app. Okay, so the next thing you want to focus on, once you have your keywords uh, dialed down, you also want to focus on your app store marketing material. And this is really important because Basically, the keywords, they get you the impressions. So if you are ranked really well for different keywords, your impressions are gonna be really high. Now, what really 
nails your conversion rate is your app store material. So once they're on your app store page, you, you better have really great screenshots um, as well as a preview video to, to really um, increase those conversions. So if you have really bad looking screenshots, uh, a bad written uh, description and no preview video, there's so much competition out there that they're just going to move on to the next one and you're going to lose out on that, on that download. So the two things you really want to focus on are the keywords, okay, to get the impressions and the app store marketing material to convert those impressions. Okay, and once you start seeing synergy between both of those, you will start seeing a, a big surge in your organic download activity, okay? Um, this is what I've noticed that as soon as I get um, anything over 5%, um, then it tends to do pretty well um, in the rankings. And that's just from my personal experience. You guys can try it yourself, see if, if, it, if it impacts you positively, maybe even negatively. I, I hope it doesn't, <laughs> okay? But it's, it's what's worked for me. And like I said, every month I've been able to get 30 to $40,000 consistently. And it's really given me a lot of traction in my game studio to, to help grow. And um, yeah, so this is what I basically do um, to get some traction on the App Store and help my studio to grow. And then also hopefully in the future to use that traction and to be able to start running paid user acquisition to sort of take my studio to the next level. So when I change keywords, I like to give it around two to three months just to see what type of impact it's had on my, on my App Store rankings. If I don't notice any difference, then I will just um, re-experiment with some different keywords and, and kind of gauge the results. And that's a process that I just keep on repeating until, I'm, until I see some, some growth on my organic downloads. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please, this is not an overnight thing where you're going to see instant results. It does take some, some time and some effort. So, but if you're willing to do that, then it will definitely help you in growing your, your organic traffic. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know um, in the comment section if you have any other tips about ASO. I'm always happy to learn um, from other fellow developers. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, please subscribe. You'll see, see me in future videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, keep keep at it and keep having that patience and you'll get some results. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.